reasonable suspicion to believe that there's something there that we need to be involved with, then at that point we're going to do some checking. With the new school year practically here, Fargo's school district has added to its search policy and updated it, laying out what type of searches your child can be subject to. Thanks for joining us tonight. Mike has the evening off. Valley News Team's Christine Stanwood breaks it down for you. Lockers, cars, anything that's on the property of the school district is all falls within um, the guise of this type of a policy. This update was a part of a series of policy reviews made by the Fargo school administrators over the summer. And while the policy now states that lockers may be suspect to suspicionless searches, Fargo Superintendent Jeff Schatz says that they will not be doing random searches. There has to be a reasonable level of suspicion that there's something going on where um, we need to further investigate. Visitors, parents, or teachers can also be subject to a search. At any time, if we felt there was reasonable suspicion that there's something in a vehicle that's on our property or something within the school uh, that we need to check into because it could be dangerous or any, anything like that, we certainly have the right to do that. But some Fargo High School students say that this update could be considered intrusive. I think it's like kind of an invasion of privacy, but if people are suspicious about stuff that they have, then it's, it'd be okay to look. I'm a kind of person that there's nothing in there. I don't really care. It's all, it's all school supplies. But for a lot of other people, it's a fact of, it's a certain level of privacy and a, so, a somewhat of a breach of privacy. Before this, each school had a separate policy. Schott says the purpose of this new policy is to create consistency with all schools and have a format for what should occur in the case of a search. In Fargo, Christine Stanwood, Valley News Live. Now, Schott says this policy is in place, but the Fargo School Board can give feedback and ask any questions on this search policy at tomorrow night's meeting.